Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. It is beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Here you can see the ski slopes are now snow covered and I saw a beautiful sunset over the mountains I wanted to share with you. In today's video we're going to be making five different fun projects using items from the Dollar Tree. The first one uses this five dollar Santa from the Dollar Plus aisle. I was inspired to embellish him in a very beautiful way because I saw a Santa in a high-end catalog that had a religiously inspired theme. The only problem with the one in the high-end catalog was that it was over a hundred dollars and just slightly larger than this one. In fact, the Santas were almost identical. So I bought this and I added, first of all, a star onto the package that he's holding. I added to that star a lovely jewel from Totally Dazzled. Then, off of a Christmas card, I cut this package. Now, you may not have the identical card, but there's so many other options for ways to create a little gift or package. The idea being, you'll want a foundation on which to attach the little nativity figures. I purchased this little set of buttons from Hobby Lobby as well as from Amazon. Other options for a nativity would be to simply purchase a little creche with baby Jesus in it that Santa could hold. You don't have to do the complete nativity. There's so many ways you could even fashion one. Now, I'm going to use this little gift box as a way to display the nativity, and I'm just going to use some hot glue to attach baby Jesus in the manger to the center of the gift box. It seems to be the perfect symbolic representation of the greatest gift of all. Then I just took the other figurines and I glued them around as well. And once the entire display was dry, you can see I'm adding some hot glue to the back of Santa's hand so that he can display the present. And here it is, all finished. And I think it just turned out in such a charming way. I have the little angel attached to the top near the bow. And um, I think it just looks beautiful and really does convey the gift of Christ. Now I'm going to add a gold star to the back of the display. I found this in a package at Dollar Tree. They sell this scatter in the form of stars and little green Christmas trees and snowflakes. So this gold star was the perfect embellishment to just add to the top there. I really love the way this turned out. You can find these Santas easily and you can always embellish them in your own unique ways. Here you can see I've attached a gold cross. My husband had given that to me and it was on our Christmas tree and I decided to go ahead and add that to what he was carrying. I love the way this project turned out. Now, we're going to take two placemats from Dollar Tree. They were just $1.25 each, and you can see they are illustrated with the classic red truck. And they're very thick and almost remind me of tapestries. So I bought two of them, and all I'm going to do is hot glue them together to create a lovely Christmas pillow. So all you need to do in this case is to take off the tags and then turn them so that they are front to back and then go ahead and run a line of hot glue, leaving just one opening so that you can use your polyfill to fill the pillow. So you can see I'm just running a nice even line of hot glue right along that lower border and then just lay down the top and smooth it out and you have your first side glued together. That's really uh, an effective way to avoid having to use a sewing machine. It works really well. So then just rotate it and do the same to all the other sides. You can see how easy it is to complete this project. I made mine in under five minutes. 
here you can see I'm just adding hot glue along the border of the top. And once I lay that down, we should be all ready to let it dry for just a few minutes. And then we'll go ahead and stuff it. I'm just using some polyfill from a very inexpensive Walmart pillow that I bought for this purpose. I simply opened up the pillow and I've been using the polyfill for small pillow projects and it works really well. As you fill it, be sure you go into those lower corners and try to keep your filling even so that the pillow has a nice um, symmetrical appearance and so that the corners are also filled in. Gently though, because it is just hot glued and you don't wanna force any of those seams to come open. And then once it's nicely and evenly plumped, all you need to do is use your hot glue to seal up that opening. This turned out so beautifully that I'm going back to Dollar Tree to find some more of these as well as some of the other designs. They do have another design I saw that says Joy. And these honestly look like tapestry pillows for $2.50 plus a little bit of polyfill and hot glue. You have an opportunity to make beautiful decorative pillows for your home or as gifts. One other option for embellishing this would be to add tassels in the corners, or in this case, I decided to add jingle bells to one of the corners. So I had purchased a package of these silver and red jingle bells from Dollar Tree, along with some red twine, and I'm just going to thread on the jingle bells onto this red twine. And I'm doing two red and one silver, and I thought it would be pretty to embellish the upper right corner with the little set, the little cluster of jingle bells. After I strung the three jingle bells together, I opened up that upper right corner and just put that string down into that corner. Had I decided in advance, I would have left the little corner open, but it was easy enough to open it up and then just tuck the string with these bells down into the opening and then add some hot glue to secure it. The jingle bells add a festive flair, but the pillow honestly looks great with or without that addition. So there you have it, an easy way to create a lovely decorative embellishment for your home. And speaking of easy embellishments, here's one that costs about $2.50 to make. And I think it's just a beautiful accent that would look lovely on an entry hall table. As you see, I have it displayed here or any place in your home where you want a little spot of holiday cheer. For this project, I purchased a Dollar Tree frame for a dollar and a quarter, and I saved a pretty Christmas card that had a lovely covered bridge. I also purchased a Dollar Tree placemat in the red and green plaid. Then I disassembled the frame and I traced around the cardboard backing of the frame so that I would know the right size to cut our mat. This placemat is going to be used as the decorative mat inside the frame. Once you get it cut to size, you'll just want to reassemble your frame and this you will see will serve as a lovely bright mat to set off that Christmas card design. Now, either side is pretty, but I thought there was enough pattern on the card to go ahead and just use the plain red side. You can see I'm reassembling the frame and because this plaid is upside down and being covered, you'll have just the lovely bright red background against that lovely silver and white bordered edge. I think that color combination really enhances the look of this display. I find the best way to do this is to attach the card to the outer surface of the glass. It gives it a lovely dimension. I also did not cut the cover of the card off from the backing. 
The card looks thicker that way, and you don't have to worry about an uneven cut edge. Now here, I'm using a beautiful cover of a Christmas tree card, along with another of the Dollar Tree placemats. In this case, I think the tree is enhanced by putting it against the plaid patterned side. So once again, I'm just going to disassemble the frame and insert our mat, but this time we'll expose the plaid side. You can see here again, I'm just using the glass as the template so I'll get nice even lines and the fabric will fit perfectly back into the frame. Here using the same technique, we're just reassembling the frame and then once again, I'm going to put the card on the exterior of the glass. For $2.50, what a beautiful splash of color this is. And you can choose your favorite Christmas cards, the ones that have special sentimental value or beauty that you would like to save. And what a way to create lovely Christmas decor. Here you can see I added little red bow stickers to the outer corners of the card. Here's another opportunity to style it in our entry hall table paired with the Santa Claus. I think it makes a very pretty little grouping there. And you can see here Santa Claus is posing in front of our red covered bridge. Here is a popular way to use the Dollar Tree glass cylindrical vases and the Dollar Tree Christmas window clings. You can make these uh, decorative vases all seasons because Dollar Tree often has window clings that are festive and seasonally decorated. So here I have the gingerbread set and I am just plying them as you can see. There's the little gingerbread house. We've put on the gingerbread man and they go on so easily. They just hug that glass cylinder. You don't need any hot glue. After you decorate your vase in festive, charming ways, you can take a battery-powered candle and insert it right down in there. And in the evening, it makes a beautiful glow. Another way to enhance this is to attach it using hot glue or E6000 to a candlestick. I spray painted a candlestick from Dollar Tree using the Krylon metallic gold spray paint. This provides a lovely pedestal base to elevate your candle holder. I made two of these at Easter and also Thanksgiving to flank either side of my centerpiece on my dining table. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I have a lot more projects that I'm working on and I hope to post another video in a day or two as well. We will be making some fun gingerbread themed projects, little gingerbread houses and gingerbread ornaments using some air dry clay, as well as another recipe that's a lot of fun to use. I'm also going to decorate some ornaments for the tree and create a very beautiful nativity displayed on an easel. So please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you can join us for all of the upcoming fun projects and I look forward to seeing you then. Until then, take care and God bless.